I know that all men will judge me, but I don't care. I felt so bad that I decided to cheat, and I'm not going to justify myself. I am an ordinary woman who wants attention, affection and warmth. Ordinary desires that are inherent in everyone, and I differ from other women only in that I do not hide my mistake because I am not ashamed. My husband cheated on me from the beginning, but I did not notice it. We got married six months after we met. John was so wonderful when we met, I didn't see a single flaw in him. My parents liked him right away, and we had a fun wedding that everyone envied. I'll tell you right now, at the beginning of the relationship, we only dated for about two months and didn't go to bed. I thought he was protecting my innocence. So after a month into the relationship, I told him he was a bit wrong and that I had already had affairs with men. However, he didn't try to get intimate with me for any other reason. He got a little embarrassed and then admitted that he was just afraid of a new relationship. It was so unusual for me that it was not a guy asking me to have sex, but a girl, but I never brought it up again. After two months, we finally went to bed. John was on top of his game. It was a wild night, and I loved it. After we got married, I moved in with John. He had his own spacious apartment, and I liked it very much. I was a good wife. I picked up my husband from work. I fed him. We had different events on the weekends. Sometimes we met with friends, and sometimes we just went for a walk. Everything was great except for one thing and it took me a while to realize that we made love too rarely. At first, I didn't pay attention to it, we were doing fine. But after a few months, I noticed that it was almost always me who asked him for intimacy. He never refused, but he never took the initiative. I wondered why this was happening, but I couldn't ask him. I was afraid of hurting his feelings, and after a while, I noticed that he began to refuse me, sometimes citing fatigue or some urgent matter. And only when intimacy between us began to happen once a month did I realize that something was wrong. John behaved as usual. I thought he had a mistress, but I did not see any signs of cheating. He treated me as touchingly as at the beginning of the relationship. He was attentive, all the time confessed his love and wanted to spend all the time with me. But it was not enough for me. I love my husband very much and believe that without mutual understanding in bed will not be a strong family. So I was torn by contradictory feelings and in the end I was tormented by the fact that I could not start a conversation with him. One evening after work, I went to a cafe to grieve alone about my hard fate. Dissatisfaction made me irritable and I did not want to go home to see my husband's smiling face again. As I was drinking coffee, I felt someone watching me, so I discreetly looked around and saw a familiar face. He smiled at me, and I smiled back. Tom sat down at my table, and we talked, and then something strange happened to me. Tom was telling me about his life, and I couldn't take my eyes off his hands, his neck, his lips, and I couldn't breathe. I felt my cheeks blush. I was wildly aroused and couldn't do anything about it. Tom noticed my strange behavior, smiled enigmatically, and took my hand. I immediately said the words that started our connection. I suggested that he go somewhere private to continue our communication. As soon as I said those words, I immediately wanted to apologize and leave. But Tom held me tight, and we drove to his house. That's where it all happened. It was unbelievable. I couldn't believe I was doing it, but my body wouldn't listen to my mind. We exchanged phone numbers, and I promised to call him. When I drove home, I was sure it wouldn't happen again. I promised myself I wouldn't call Tom, but I couldn't delete his number. John was waiting for me at home, and when I saw his smiling face, I felt a pang of remorse as he carefully took off my jacket and gently hugged me but I could smell Tom's sin on me, which I wanted to wash off as soon as possible. As I showered, a million thoughts raced through my head about what to do next. 
I tried everything to get John to pay attention to me as a woman, but his love was more platonic and I needed something else. I needed the passion that Tom could give me, and I realized that my husband, for some inexplicable reason, was incapable of it. At night, I would lie in bed with my eyes open and think, next to my husband who had just kissed me on the cheek, that I couldn't live like this and I wasn't going to leave John either. In the morning it was clear that I had to lead a double life, so I made a decision and called Tom after work. Half an hour later, I was at his apartment, and we were in a whirlwind of passion again. From then on, I met Tom regularly. At home, the relationship between me and my husband was excellent. He saw a change in me. I was now calm and balanced. We had a perfect relationship. We had intimacy every three to four weeks. I did not ask for more, and John was only too happy about it. He thought we were so perfect for each other that we understood each other in bed. But I knew it was all thanks to Tom, who made me forget everything else in the world. And everything would have gone on forever, if not for one disturbing moment, when Tom confessed his love to me. I wasn't ready for that, and I didn't even know what to say to him. He knew that I was married. I didn't really want to tell him about my relationship with my husband. But he realized that we didn't have everything so smooth since I was seeing him regularly. I couldn't explain that I was madly in love with my husband. He wouldn't understand. And I didn't want to bring all the skeletons out of my closet. I didn't want to embarrass John by telling my lover about his problems. Tom began to pry details of my family life from me. I carefully answered some questions. The rest I tried to keep quiet change the subject or lure Tom into bed. It became harder and harder to see him. I was annoyed by his interrogations, but not seeing him was more than I could bear. Only with him I got the release I needed, and at home I enjoyed my husband carrying me in his arms. This went on for about four months, and then Tom began to behave aggressively. He began to demand explanations from me. He was interested in which of them I loved. He gave me a condition to either tell my husband everything and stay with Tom or not see him anymore. I panicked because I didn't want to lose either of them. I loved John, but I needed Tom physically. I felt like a bird in a cage that couldn't find its way out. I asked Tom to wait until the time was right to explain myself to my husband, but in my heart I knew I was only delaying the end of our relationship. I would never leave John no matter what, and if he found out about my deception, he would be obligated to forgive me because I would explain everything. He will understand what was going on in my soul and how my body was suffering. Maybe things will even change for the better when he realizes what I really need. Tom waited, but every time we met, I could see that he was getting more and more irritated. He longed to appear in public with me and to date me officially. He began to demand that I file for divorce, and he was sure that I loved him and not my husband, so he was very persistent, and then I realized that I could not delay our separation any longer. It was seven months into our relationship when I finally told Tom that it was over between us. I expected anything but calm, he showed no emotion and just looked at me with a slight smile. He listened to my long monologue about the impossibility of our relationship and seeing each other, and then just asked me if I was sure of my decision and if I would regret it later. Of course I was sure, because I was going to talk to John about what was bothering me and tell him what was wrong with me. I was sure that my husband would understand because he loved me so much. Tom gave me a final nod and said goodbye his face suspiciously calm and relaxed, but I wanted to get away from him and I didn't think he was up to anything. I called a taxi and drove home, mentally forming the words I wanted to say to my husband and smiling, relieved that I wouldn't have to lie. But at home, I was already waiting for an unpleasant surprise from my lover when I arrived home 40 minutes later, and during the time Tom had managed to send John a video on his cell phone, it was our next meeting. It was shot on a phone that Tom had placed somewhere, so it wouldn't be noticed, 
and the video showed everything that was going on with us on his bed. This video was full of passion, like the best adult movies. In some scenes I even swallowed. John found out everything thanks to my lover, and I didn't expect such a reaction. He was furious. I had never seen John like that. I thought he was the sweetest and calmest man in the world, but I was wrong. My betrayal was unexpected for him, and I hurt him badly. I tried to justify myself, to tell him what made me cheat, that it was only physical cheating, and that I still loved my husband just as much. But John didn't let me say a word. He opened the door with his foot and threw out my suitcase with my belongings. It was a surprise ending for me. I thought I could explain everything and he would forgive me, but my lover ended our relationship perfectly. I lost everything. Tom left and ruined my family life for the last time. If I had known how the relationship with Tom would end, I wouldn't have dated him, but it turned out the way it did. I do not regret the affair, I am deeply hurt by the fact that I lost my beloved husband, who did not forgive me and filed for divorce. And Tom was just a pawn in my life to satisfy my needs, and I am sure that his life in the future will not be the best way, because such meanness will leave a trace in his fate. Now I am a divorced woman who remembers her family life and dreams of giving everything back, but it is impossible. A year later, I found out that John was with a man, and he married me because he was afraid to tell his parents the truth about himself. I was like a screen for him. But now I'm free, and I'm not wasting my time. Thanks to internet dating, I have a new man practically every day who does everything to please me. I started to change them like underwear. 